Do you know what the most common health problem is in cats and dogs? Even more common than dogs getting belly aches from eating too many hamburgers and other goodies off picnic tables and out of garbage cans. More common than hairball gastritis. Vets see this particular problem numerous times every single day. It's dental disease. Let's show you some proof with some of our shelter pets that we have here right now. Any dog or cat over two years of age will have some tartar buildup on their teeth, even if they are eating dry food. Let's talk about how that happens. Sticky plaque, just like we humans acquire, becomes hard yellowish tartar within three days. This would happen to humans too if we didn't brush our teeth twice daily, floss, and use mouthwash. And this is what happens in our pets' mouths because they don't do any of these things. Very thin microscopic layers of this plaque and then tartar is laid down layer over layer every single day. Tartar is essentially mineralized bacterial culture. And so when it's on the teeth, pressed up against the gums, it will cause inflammation and infection, which leads to bad breath and a very dirty mouth, doing the grooming, licking our hands and our children's faces, which is bad enough. But it also leads to loosening of the dental ligaments holding the tooth in place, allowing pocket formations and even painful abscessation of tooth roots. Worse still, it can cause infections within the body, including heart and kidney infections and liver abscesses. Of course, this takes time, but the time to prevent it is now. Another special thing happens in cat mouths and other mouths, but especially cat mouths, as though they're not special enough already. And that is odontoclastic resorptive lesions. We don't know why this happens, but it seems very cruel because it's a very painful process initiated by cells within the cat's own teeth, called odontoclasts, that start to eat away at the tooth from the inside out. In addition to dental disease, pets often have fractured teeth that will cause them pain and discomfort if not tended to. Chewing on bones and hard toys, rocks and sticks, metal bars on crates, as well as accidents and injuries can lead to fractured teeth. Excessive repetitive chewing on things like tennis balls and rocks can lead to abnormal wear on teeth, exposing the sensitive tooth pulp. How do we limit dental disease in our pets? Prevention is key. Start an oral hygiene program from an early age, brush those teeth at least twice weekly, preferably every day, with an enzymatic toothpaste that tastes good and is safe to swallow. Start with a moistened microfiber cloth and wipe the teeth gently with paste. And over time, graduate up to a soft pet toothbrush, concentrating on the lateral or outside surfaces of the teeth where most tartar tends to build. Not all dogs and cats will accept this, at least not on a regular basis, but many actually love it because it is a new way of getting our undivided attention for a few minutes every day. If we tense up and expect a fight or flight, or there actually is a flight and you're chasing them around the house beforehand, there's no point in even trying. Introduce it slowly with lots of praise and you might be surprised how easy it is to do and you will be doing your pet a very great favor. If there is already a lot of tartar and disease present, it's best to start with a professional dental cleaning. Otherwise, you may do more harm than good. In addition to brushing, use a dental diet and dental treats, as well as toys geared to help floss those teeth. All dogs and cats are at risk for dental disease, even if they eat a dry food, as I've already said. There will be some genetic and breed predispositions. Breeds like Chihuahuas and Shih Tzus, for example, have notoriously bad teeth. And some individuals, regardless of breed, just seem to be more prone to more dental issues. Have your pet's teeth professionally cleaned regularly to help prevent painful dental disease and the need for costly tooth extractions. Remember, dogs and cats are stoic about mouth pain and will not always tell you when they have a toothache or teeth aches, which is more often the case. Pain from dental disease is chronic pain and is debilitating over time. Most people just think their pet is getting older, when in fact, being less active can be a symptom. Most cats and many dogs will continue to eat normally until they have advanced disease. So make sure a good dental checkup is part of your pet's yearly wellness veterinary exam so you can catch it early.
And when your veterinarian recommends a dental cleaning, ask him or her to show you what they are seeing in your pet's mouth so you will understand why it is important. Don't wait until things advance beyond what a simple cleaning can remedy. Clean teeth are one of the secrets to a long and healthy life, and we want that for our furry friends. Make an appointment with your friendly neighborhood vet right now for a good dental checkup. And while you're at it, check in with your own dentist too.